Well, slap him at the Oscars. That wasn't even the gangster part. The gangster part was sat down and enjoy the rest of the show. Wait a minute, baby, baby, baby. baby shut the f up, my man. We're not doing that either. We're not doing that either. Put your, put your claws back in. Producers that hip hop has ever presented, the mighty man Lil. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for hip hop history. Was that Will Smith? There is another celebrity showdown in town, folks, because Will Smith is fuming at none other than comedian extraordinaire Dave Chappelle. It seems like the drama surrounding Will Smith never ceases, and this time things have taken an unexpected twist. The Fresh Prince himself is far from pleased with Dave Chappelle to the extent that he's contemplating legal action and considering suing the comedy legend. People I did it hurt. It still hurts. Will Smith is significantly bigger than me. We are not the same size. I know what you're thinking. Hold up, aren't Will Smith and Dave Chappelle buddies? Well, they used to be, but there's been some brewing tension between these two, and it seems like Will is ready to strike back. My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start, bro, I'm standing in my house. Now, you might be wondering, why would Will Smith resort to legal action? Can't these two mega stars just work things out over a cup of coffee or a friendly game of basketball? Well, we'll have to wait and see how this unfolds. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding, or perhaps there's more to the story than meets the eye. Why did you hit that man, Uncle Will? You know, damn it. Damn, you're, you're, why are you trying to Oprah me? <laughs> so let's take a closer look at what led us to this point. Fast forward to Dave Chappelle's comedy tour, where he joined forces with his partner in crime, the hilarious Chris Rock. During their show in the vibrant city of Liverpool, something happened that set Chappelle off on a tangent about Will Smith's infamous Oscar slap. Dave Chappelle couldn't resist sharing his thoughts on the incident where Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at last year's Oscar ceremony, shattering the beloved Hollywood persona that the King Richard star had built over his illustrious career. According to The Telegraph, during their Liverpool performance, Chappelle remarked, Will did the impression of a perfect person for 30 years and he ripped his mask off and showed us he was as ugly as the rest of us. The internet absolutely lost it at this and ran with it, carrying on this wave made of drama and speculation. This person said, it's perfection that Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock are all friends and did an anti Will Smith bit because you can tell all three of them stay on the wrong side of history by that one fact alone. Another added, Will Smith should be allowed to slap Dave Chappelle too? This person thought, if a person talks bad about you in public instead of defending that person is not a true friend. That friend can say that Will and Chris should have handled it better, but that friend would never chime in and bash him and his family further. But Chappelle clarified that he doesn't want to witness Smith reconstructing a facade. Whatever the consequences are, I hope he doesn't put his mask back on again and lets his real face breathe, Chappelle expressed. He also added, I see myself in both men. Chappelle humorously quipped that when Smith struck Rock just moments before receiving one of Hollywood's most prestigious awards, it was like he had returned to his hometown. A lot of people forget who Will Smith is, Chappelle commented. Then, 10 minutes before he was about to get the biggest award, he, he acted like he was back in Philadelphia. To provide some context, Smith received the Best Actor Oscar shortly after slapping Rock. The joke that led to the incident involved Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, who Rock humorously mentioned had a shaved head due to her alopecia. Smith won the Oscar for his remarkable portrayal of Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena Williams, in the inspiring film King Richard. During his emotional acceptance speech, he apologized to the Academy for the slap and tried to explain his actions saying, love will make you do crazy things, but he did not mention Rock by name. During the comedy show in Liverpool, Chris Rock also discussed the incident, reportedly telling the crowd that Smith hit me over a bullshit joke, the nicest joke I ever told. I mean, it's no surprise that he's feeling a little annoyed about Dave Chappelle making jokes at his expense. Who wouldn't feel a bit bothered when someone starts ripping into them in public, right? Here's the thing. Will Smith has carefully crafted an image of himself as a charismatic and flawless Hollywood icon. With his unforgettable roles in blockbuster movies and undeniable charm, he has quite the reputation. So when Dave Chappelle takes a swing at him during a live show, 
it's understandable that it might sting a bit. Imagine putting yourself in Will's shoes for a moment. Picture hearing Chappelle talk about how you've exposed your flaws and shattered the mask of perfection. It's bound to make anyone feel vulnerable, especially after working so hard to maintain a specific public image. It's like having all your imperfections highlighted for everyone to see, and that can definitely rub someone the wrong way. But let's face it, Will kind of brought this upon himself. I mean, you can't just hit someone on international television and expect to get away with it. Sure, Chris Rock was pretty forgiving about the whole thing. He didn't press charges or retaliate, but Will can't expect everyone to handle the situation as gracefully as Chris did. Oh, and let's not forget Chris made quite a fortune with those comedy specials, but let's put that aside for now. And here's another reason why I think Dave Chappelle has a point in saying what he said. He ended up being a victim of an attack himself, all because Will Smith defended Chris Rock's joke about Jada Pinkett's alopecia at the 2022 Oscars. Now it seems like Chappelle has become the latest target of an onstage attack during his performance at the Netflix is a Joke Festival in L.A. Within seconds, a person from the audience rushed the stage, knocking Chappelle down and leaving everyone in shock. People quickly grabbed their smartphones to capture the chaos. The attacker made a swift escape, leaving everyone bewildered. Thankfully, security acted promptly, chasing and successfully apprehending the assailant away from the stage. The individual had to be taken away on a stretcher with injuries to their arm and face. This incident has sparked renewed discussions about the vulnerability of performers and the unexpected turns that live shows can take. Just when we thought we had seen it all, Hollywood manages to surprise us once again. Honestly, some people saw this coming after the attack on Will Smith. In the aftermath of Dave Chappelle's onstage assault, fingers were pointed and speculations arose about the reasons behind this disturbing trend. And you know what? Many are pointing those fingers directly at Will Smith. This person tweeted, I believe Dave Chappelle would have never been attacked if Will Smith never punched Chris Rock. Smith set the dangerous precedent and Hollywood's spineless reaction told the world it's okay to attack comedians. This person added, we all knew that Will Smith slapping Chris Rock over a joke would set a dangerous precedent suggesting people were entitled to meet jokes with violence. It was only a matter of time before a comedian got attacked. Luckily, Dave Chappelle is okay. Attacker was armed with gun and knife. Another added, well, people will always talk about people whether we like it or not. If that was Dave Chappelle or someone close to Will Smith's size, he would have dealt with whatever trauma he was going through. Will is punk for his actions. Critics argue that Smith's decision to physically confront Chris Rock on stage set a dangerous precedent, normalizing physical altercations as a typical response to offensive jokes or slights. They believe that this behavior sends the wrong message to fans and creates an environment where violence becomes a potential solution. Will, though, made sure his actions were not celebrated or seen as justified. In his heartfelt apology video, Will Smith opened up about his sincere efforts to reach out and apologize to Chris Rock. But unfortunately, Chris was unavailable. He acknowledged that his behavior was completely unacceptable and expressed his willingness to be there whenever Chris is ready to have a conversation. It's clear that he takes full responsibility for his actions. During the video, Will also revealed that he was in a state of confusion and shock immediately after the slapping incident. This mental fog prevented him from extending a direct apology to Chris during his acceptance speech at the Oscars on March 27th, where he triumphantly won for his remarkable performance in King Richard. But the impact of the incident went beyond the surface level for Will. Disappointing people is my central trauma. I hate when I let people down, so it hurts psychologically and emotionally to know that I didn't live up to people's image and impression of me. The work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching and until next time, this is goodbye.